Hi Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for December the 1st through December the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for December the 1st through December the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for December the 1st through December the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for December the 1st through December the 2nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the six of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the six of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the six of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Taurus. Clarified temperance for Taurus. Clarified temperance. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you feared that the offer would be rejected. So Taurus, listen, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Taurus, listen, you know, you can tell me that there's some type of compromise and negotiations going on concerning some type of offer here, but maybe you don't want it because you feel like it's off balance or you're being shortchanged here. Taurus, you can tell me that there's an offer coming in from someone who's trying to come bring balance here, Taurus. But you don't want this offer. You just want to heal individually on your own. However, Taurus, you can tell me it's you wanting to come in with this offer to give something here. Give something here, a token of love, a peace offering, because you're wanting to heal things, bend things, work things out with this person. You have the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. 
So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the King of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Taurus, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Hmm. Taurus, you can tell me that you're making a decision to be independent here because of some type of deception. Like I said, it could be dealing with coins, but you're feeling like someone's shortchanging you here. Taurus, you can tell me that you're making a decision to become single because there was some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off that this person may have been giving more somewhere else giving to two and they're trying to come over and offer you something and I'm like, I don't want it. I don't want it. Taurus, you can tell me that as the king of swords, you're wanting to come forth with truthful communication concerning some type of deception of yours because you don't want to be single. Is you wanting to heal things over here? You're wanting to come over here and give something to bring balance, but you have this fear it won't be accepted. You have the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Now Taurus, you could be leaving for another blessing somewhere. Money, assets, resources, property, because you feel like someone's shortchanging you, Taurus. You're better off being independent and leaving the situation, sneaking off in the situation, making a decision to just walk away from whatever this that's being offered that you feel is being shortchanged. However, Taurus, you can tell me that you're walking away because this person has new love. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two, and they're coming over trying to heal things with you, and you're like, no, thank you. Or Taurus, you're saying that you're wanting to come back and start new with this person and you have some explaining to do as the king of swords coming forth with truthful communication concerning some type of deception that you were involved in. Eight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're stuck or you're blocking. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Taurus. 
It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're blocking them because something from the past was brought back up here. You can tell me that you're stuck on whether or not you want to reunite with them because they're coming and wanting to reunite with you, Taurus, offering you this cup and you're like, I don't know. I don't think I want it. I don't know. However, Taurus, it could be you wanting to reunite with them, but you're stuck because you have this fear it won't be accepted. You have judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Taurus, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Taurus. Clarify judgment. For Taurus, clarify judgment for Taurus. It is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Taurus, you can tell me that your judgment is to hold on to your coins because you're ready to free yourself and become independent from whatever the situation is that's short, trying to shortchange you or cheat you out of what you deserve, okay? You want to leave to look for something better. Taurus, you can tell me that your judgment is to be closed off to this person, to really block this opportunity that they want to reunite with you. Like you walked away and they're trying to offer you, but it's not enough for you to turn back around again. You're making this decision to be single because of some type of deception here. So no matter how deep they dig in their pockets or deep they dig in their so-called heart, that you think you're going to miss the offer. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, recalling, reminiscing, memories, returning. Recalling, reminiscing, memories, returning. Asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Wanting to reunite here. But I feel like you're saying no. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? Karmic third party relationship lesson. Karmic third party relationship lesson learned. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for December the 1st through December the 2nd, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.